Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Truth, Beer, and Pod Sequences mini episode. This is episode 28.5. We're going to be doing a, a little bit of a deep dive, not too long, but a bit of a deep dive into an amazing beer that, that Marco provided for both of us, that producer Kenny so graciously chilled for us. And then because we are days, just just a few sleeps away from the Super Bowl, which the Bengals, the Cincinnati Bengals, are finally a part of, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the hype in Cincinnati that is surrounding them. Um, if you do hear any little crinkles, we are eating some absolutely amazing whole shebang chips from BC's Bad Lodge Montgomery. I want to introduce, again, the most amazing, most beautifully coiffed-haired co-host that has ever existed in podcast landia well thank you julia uh, i am marco and i am here uh you know partaking in chips chips <laughs> it's been amazing and then so what we have is fatheads brewery uh saint fatty's irish style red ale and uh you know we're we're gonna partake in that and I, we got a little bit of a plan, mm -hmm. and uh, we also are This is kind of off the cuff. We're kind of doing a bit of a, we did not really have a pre-production meeting about this, but we knew we wanted to talk about the hype around the Super Bowl, and we thought that some of the best hype around the Super Bowl would be some of the Cincinnati breweries that are doing stuff. Almost every single brewery is doing a, a Super Bowl watch party. Some breweries have been releasing things uh, like special labels. Uh, Sonder Brewing is, if you hear, hear any crackles. Crowler, <laughs> Crowler Labels. Yes, yeah, Sonder's Crowler Labels have a Bengal Tiger and the Tiger Stripes on them. They're doing a buy two, get one free Crowler special through Sunday, I believe. Please check their social media and make sure that I'm not making this up. And there are other breweries doing the exact same. Well, I don't say the exact same thing. I think High Grain put out a Bengal striped can for their Jungle Juicy IPA, which I want to say someone said is already sold out. And one of the biggest ones, Hudipole or Cincinnati Brewing Company, ha we're not going to dive into that. That's something that the gnome can can 100% run with as far as what it is, what it means, etc. Well, why they don't put we, out... why don't we call them? Oh, okay. We we have the power of technology. Let's let's do this. All right, let's see. Why don't we call them? Here we go. Hello, you are on Truth Beer and Pod Sequences, the show where we listen to all the craft beer podcasts from the week before, and then we give our version of the truth. Hopefully, there's not too many consequences from the hosts of the other shows, and so far, so good. Listener, Marco, our caller, Marco, I need to I need to cut you off here. Wrong number. This Shit. is this <laughs> this is a point five. This is a whole episode. Time. So, well, hello. Uh, <laughs> I actually, I needed to fill a little bit just to make sure we were actually connected. So uh, forgive my uh, uh, over, over exuberance. Right uh, Gnome, so this is the gnarly Gnome. Uh, Gnome, welcome. What's up, guys? Hey, how you how doing? Do I sound? Do I sound okay? Yeah, I think you sound great. Oh, you I sound mean, amazing. It, it sounds like you're on a phone, but that's... 100% accurate. I mean, so I'm, I'm in the studio, so I should sound oh, better nice. than the phone, hopefully. It, yeah. I think it does. I we've we've only done this once before with calling in to record a show, so you sound sorry Marco, but you sound better than Marco did when we Yeah, uh, usually this. sound better than Marco. Well, I, I had covid. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, that's not proven, by the way. That, that's not proven I had covid. I did not take a test. I just had sniffles. But anyway, no. Uh so uh, thank you for calling in after I of called course. you after I called you three times <laughs> and it was unsuccessful at connecting you to uh, our uh, our little. Uh, Should I crack open a Hude beer? Yes, please do. No, no, no. What, uh, yeah. you. Do, do you have a beer yeah. yet? No. He has a hootie. There oh, it is. that sounded it's... so good. It's, it's a lie. Awesome. It's not really a Hude beer. Oh, oh okay. well, all right. <laughs> hey, you know I'm what? saving them for Sunday. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're not cracking <laughs> them yet. Theater of the mind, right? But no, the, reason <laughs> we'll that, the reason that we called is we thought that for our point five episode, it would be fun to talk to you about your recent blog post about the Hude beer release. And 
we absolutely loved your take on. I don't know. I want to know your kind of guys' closer. take on it. So my my take on it was I absolutely love what they did. For anyone that is a craft beer fanatic, they understand what limited release means. <laughs> like they under they understand that that just because right. you see this post saying it's only going to be available from X time to X time, there's no guarantee you're going to get any. That's part right. of the fun. So here's I here's the joke that, of it all, yeah, and, and, yeah. and joke is is very loose. Okay. Um, the the current Christian Moorline Hudipole. Uh, Cincinnati, Cincinnati Brewing Company. Company. Yeah, Brevet Track. Right. Um, they had no idea what they were doing. No, this was no. this was uh, just flying by the seat of their pants. They knew that people wanted this Hude beer, mm -hmm. and they wanted to give that to people. Sure. Uh, current supply chain constraints on top of a uh, a mobile canner that could not get into town quick enough mm -hmm. for them to make it happen meant that this was just chaos from the very get-go get right. yeah they, they had no idea what they were doing it was um it, i'm not going to say that it's not their fault because mm -hmm. it was definitely i mean they 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 planned all this and they they made it happen the way it did but right um they didn't they didn't know what they were giving themselves into right yeah uh, I, I, I give them a little free pass yeah mike and i use the word complaint incredibly loosely but my complaint about the whole situation is for every major Bengals event in the last what almost 30 years since what the, 1989 -ish? walk like an egyptian walk like an egyptian exactly those yeah, Bengals. Okay. so ever since that that music video hit the airwaves and became an international sensation they have put out a a package i'll say package because as you pointed out on the weekly pint it's been mostly cans but there was a year that they did bottles they have, yeah, the, they so have put out a, the, a a packaged product to celebrate that historic bangles you know win sure and how did sure, but, good so you're talking about uh, so 2005 was mm. when the bottles were put out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the the last time that this was done before that was 1988, 89, something like that. Mm -hmm. This is not like a thing that they do every couple of years. This well, is that was that was an entirely different company, entirely sure, different people, sure. and everything was different. They had no idea what they were getting themselves into. But I guess my no clue. But I guess my and and I, I say again, I say counter argument in incredibly loose terms, but Hudipol as a name as a brand regardless of the actual ownership regardless of who is actually making the decisions every major Bengals win every ma major Bengals event they have put out a packaged product that is Bengals branded right. to celebrate with the fans with the city of Cincinnati and I f again I wasn't able to <laughs> except for the 2005 you know, I wasn't around to be able to purchase any of the, you know, 88, 89, you know, can products. Right. But I feel like those seemed to be more accessible by the masses. Absolutely. Even though considering it was still a very, um, I hate using the term macro beer, but it was a beer that everybody drank. Like it wasn't right. just a, cra it wasn't an IPA that only a segment of the portion or the, of the population would drink. It was a you know, beer think that of it, everybody think of it in like, the whole city drank. And I feel think like it, they should have known that everybody in the city, regardless of if they're actually going to drink it or not, they're going to want to get their hands on this beer. And holy crap, the madness that, <laughs> that ensued is almost as crazy it, as the fact that we're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> that's that's valid. Yeah, um, yeah. You have to put yourselves in the shoes of... An ownership group that just came into the Cincinnati Beverage Company mm -hmm. um, in the last couple of years, right before COVID, mm -hmm. uh, they're coming into a company that is uh, struggling. It is, uh, in in all due respect to them, on its last legs. They are trying to save this company right. from disappearing forever. Um, they had to shut down all of the production here in town. Um, had to go to, con you know, contract only. Mm -hmm. They shut down a tap room that was one of the most beautiful tap rooms in the city. Yes. Um, they, things aren't great for the, uh, the the Cincinnati Beverage Company, whatever, whatever we want to call them. Uh, things are not great for them right now. They, right. So, so we are, we, I would say that we are lucky 
that they were even able to put this together in such a um, short a amount haphazard, of time. Yeah. short amount of time that oh, they were right. able to. No, well, like, the fact that it exists is, is incredible. amazing, right? No, and, and the and, fact that they I'm were able to figure out a way to, that. yeah, I. I I, I think that there could have been things that were done differently from the release, and I think that they learned a lot from their first release because this is the first release mm-hmm. from this ownership group um, like this. I don't think I've seen something like this since um, Fiona. more than more than yeah more than a handful of times that this right. has happened in Cincinnati beer. They were out of their league from the get go. Mm-hmm. Um, they did they did great considering what they were handed. No, and, and, and but, I definitely agree with that. But here, here's just a before Marco, before you have your your say, real quick question. And this is just you know kind of the the uneducatedness on my side. Is the current ownership group that put this together? Are they from Cincinnati? Like, do they have an idea of how big Bengals Mania? Yes. Is yeah, going yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So they. Yeah. Again, no fault on, on their side because of supply chain issues, canning issues, all that. But they probably had a good idea that when they <laughs> when they had this I even before they announced it to the public, when they had this idea of let's do this, they probably knew there are going to be Yeah. Every single person in Cincinnati is going to want to yeah, get and, one of these. And, okay. And I would even I would even argue that it became more special because of that. Oh, um, this yeah. was so uh, not to go behind closed doors too much here, mm-hmm. but the current uh, the way that Cincinnati Beverage Company uh, and I hate calling it that. Mm-hmm. Um, I hate that name. I hate what it kind of represents. It just sounds too generic uh, and not it does. It sounds it sounds too. Uh, so uh, their current structure is that all of the more lime beers are contract brewed. Um, they don't like to talk about where they're made, but they're made here in town at one of the other big breweries. Mm-hmm. I'm um, glad they're still made in town. I'll just say this, that. Yeah. This this beer um, would have, if things had been laid out perfectly and if supply chain issues and all of that had laid out the way they were supposed to be, would have been produced at another brewery, uh, packaged at that brewery, uh, cranked out in mass, and, and would have been uh, kind of uh, the same as all of the other Moreland beers. This isn't – that's not the way this worked. And I don't they, feel like it should be. I feel like this should beer, be a special beer that – that is limited and so the, the beer was brewed mm-hmm. by their contract partner okay however the contract partner was not able to can the beer at the schedule that needed to happen for it to be out this week um so they, they canned the beer back at Moorline at the otr facility it was in a tank there mm-hmm. it was uh, the mobile canner came in to Moorline and um all of that side of the uh the packaging happened right there, and I was—I watched it happen. I was standing right there, and it felt—it um, felt special in a way. I know it was chaotic, and it was probably not the way anybody wanted things to happen, but um, it felt—it felt different, and it felt um, exciting, and it felt right for this beer, if that makes any sense at all. Well, that's awesome, and it—it it also means that it was. Uh... A one-off, uh, probably, yeah, but, uh, probably for less a lot of, for a lot of reasons. Uh, probably uh, less Shout out margin. to the NFL and all of their copyrights. <laughs> yeah, trademarks. probably less margin than they would have had through their yes. uh, other partners. But they they pushed forward and said, getting this beer to market is more important than you know the you know the dollars or pennies per you know offering that that they would have uh, saved or made to, to get it out there. Hell, they could do a so, re-release after we win the Super Bowl, and they're still going to make There will be no re-release. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay. Uh, the, the NFL, or the Cincinnati Bengals Incorporated, owns the trademark to Hude. Um, it's not a thing that you're supposed to put on cans. So even though it's um, even though the, even no, though Cincinnati no. Beverage but, Company does H U instead of the no okay, they, they, okay. They, so um, more behind the scenes and shout out to Sixteen Lots. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, Kenny's day drinking lager D E Y. Uh, caused a little bit of a, a, a kerfuffle okay. um, uh, because of the fact that it's a football-themed beer with D-E-Y, D-E-Y. on oh, on, on the label uh, with the Bengals colors. The point of all of this is I, I don't think that there is going to be another release of okay. this Hude beer. Um, which, I, which they, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm okay with because as 
someone who is in the craft beer scene, I understand what a limited edition beer means. And so I know that it may be released at a time and a place and within a time frame that I just can't make it to. And that's right. just how life is. I mean, I think it would have been awesome to have to have gotten a six pack, but at the end of the day, oh well. You know what I mean? It's not it's not yeah. the end yeah, of the world. I, it's beer. But I am, you know, kudos to the people that were able to get there, that were able to stand in line for hours and hours to get right. this. Which Gnome didn't. He's like, uh, he saw the line. <laughs> yeah, I was no, like, I, like, I got uh, there. I got there I early. Got I like, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to pass. Yeah. I, mean, I, got I, got to there, pass. I got there very early. I and was, then, I was and at, then we I had was a Twitter at, I was at more line confirming. at noon. And again at seven. So I was I was there seven hours. And, apart. and then you said, you know what, you know what's close? I got to go to Fig Leaf <laughs> to, to, to drink hard soda. Exactly. Right. You're hard like, soda. you know what? I'm here. I'm here downtown, uh, Cincinnati, and uh, I I'm just gonna shoot up to Fig Leaf. Yeah, <laughs> now, it's, it's all Cincinnati to me. Right. No kidding. For sure. But yeah, we just wanted to do kind of a quick point five for for this episode, and we uh, wanted we're gonna to talk ca- about. We're going to call it Jangle next. Oh uh, yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're going to do ten or fifteen minutes with this guy. Hey, so I know I know I couldn't make it to the uh, uh, Northern um, Wrestling Federation, Vagina Wrestling oh, Federation, or whatever. I'm so upset that I missed that. Hey, there will be plenty more events. Yeah, and but uh, you guys are coming to. Whatever one you guys can make it to, it is always an amazing time. And I want to make it to the one he's going to. Okay. Yeah, I I, I right. promised I was going to be there this time, and I, I wasn't there. I well, said it on the well, air. Well, to to be fair, Chris and Josh put it out like three hours before the show. No, but on on my Birkus episode, I you did. Yeah, you, did you, say you that. said I was. You be were there. the one who published it, by the way, <laughs> yeah, I, like a full week ahead, <laughs> and so I, we had notice. Uh, I, no, had, I had, I had, I, no, I, I had just a, a health all of conundrum things that happened in, uh, in my personal life to where I was not going to be able to be there, even though I switched, uh, at my full-time job, uh, with another guy to close Saturday night. But even if I'd have opened, there's no way I would have been there. And you and I can talk. <laughs> Uh, off mic uh, about that, and and maybe we we'll, we will or maybe we won't. But uh, my my last week has just been crazy, and I wish I would have been there. It would have been fun, uh, mm-hmm. but that means uh, the next time will be uh, even more epic, even, even more, more epic and more fun. Absolutely. So let's get let's get you at one of these things, buddy. And uh, and thanks for answering Marcus. Phone yeah, calls. thanks for answering. <laughs> of course, I tried. Th- th- <laughs> thanks for answering my call, and thanks for uh, being on uh, being on the air, and and you were uh, recorded. So. Um, well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> appreciate you guys calling we, me. Well. We appreciate you more than we can ever, <laughs> ever express. So thank you so much. Thank you so Have much. Have a great evening, hey, who's, who's your producer tonight? Is it is it Brian? It's no, Kenny. it's Kenny. It's Kenny. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you sound disappointed. I, I, no, I, I, I got some more fun stuff about, about Brian that I want to talk to him about. So. All oh, right. okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, Take we'll care, say buddy. later, no. sir. I was gonna I was gonna mess with him, so <laughs> <laughs> we could we could say a couple fun little things on the air that don't give anything away, but uh, we will call uh, you back next time Brian uh, is producing the show. Trying to think of a good frog legs Houston <laughs> in kind of reference that I could. Uh, 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 well, we won't go too deep. <laughs> All right, thanks, buddy. guys. <laughs> All right, we'll talk Take to you later, man. <laughs> See ya. See you, buddy. Cheers, guys. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm about to call Caroline if I can find <laughs> if I can find her number. <laughs> oh, messenger! Oh shit! Oh, message oh, shit. them and be I'm like, gonna call, okay, "I'm gonna call so, Caroline." So oh message, shit! Message her Hold and on. be like, "Yo, we're recording. We have 30 minutes before BC's closes, and we need more content." Ah. <sighs> We're going to call in five minutes, though. That's a damn show. So we need oh, to Oh, shit. Have... This place closes in 30 minutes. That's okay. what I just said. Dude, All listen. Right. So. That's why. Okay. Oh, my God. Caroline. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun to All edit. the guys would say she's mighty fine. Joe does. No, Caroline. I'm calling Caroline. <laughs>
Bridgetown Brewing Company. How can I help you? Hey, Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> All the hey, guys would say how are she's you guys? mighty fine. We are doing very well. Um, we have 20 minutes before BC's Bottle Lodge Montgomery kicks us out, and we thought that we would give you a call to ask you what your thoughts are on the Super Bowl coming up. What beer are you drinking tonight? And let's talk about that gumbo that you made. Miss you, Caroline. We do miss you. I- I miss you guys, too. <laughs> so uh, I am currently drinking a Sam Adams Alpine Lager, nice. which is brisk and smooth, much like myself. Ah, very true. Okay, very good. So no, I thought she <laughs> brought it up. <laughs> she brought it up. I have a nice personality. Hell yeah, okay, you do. Okay, very good. Very okay, good. So yeah, we, we know that. No, we know that. So we are doing a Truth Beer Pod uh, point five, a mini episode, one of our bonus episodes mm-hmm. for episode 28, which is being recorded on 2-8, so it kind of all ties together. How about that, Caroline? We tried to call Josh from Shift Beers, and he ignored our call. We called the Norway. I mean, Can you blame him? Really? I can, because you guys are pretty fun to be around. <laughs> oh, you're the best. We called Gnarly Gnome, and he talked to us for a few minutes about his experience and about uh, getting the Hude beer from Hudapol, which was, I think it's absolutely awesome. I think that people that are mad don't understand what a limited release is. And then we thought, let's call Caroline, or, you know, Marcus said, let's try to get Caroline's number to call her and just find out. How good was the gumbo that you made? Because oh, I bet it was delicious. I have no experience with gumbo. Marco does, and so we wanted to hear from you how it, everything it looked, how everything went down. It looked fantastic. I'm sure yeah. it was delicious. I'm sure mine's better, but I, I think it was very good. I'm sure uh, yours is better too. But in my opinion, it was excellent. Good. Well, that's awesome. Um, good. And, and 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 that's that's what, all that matters. That's all that matters. That's yeah. all that counts, yeah. right? Uh, so, yeah, but, and it was a labor of love. It was very time intensive. So, so you we made were, the we're gonna eat that whole pot no matter what. Nice. So you made the roux from scratch, and you added mm-hmm. all kinds of amazing things. You know, shrimp and the vegetables. And how many days of leftovers do you think you have from what you made? Uh, I'm gonna go with like five. Okay, nice. fair enough. So, uh, when you when you went to put together your roux. I would imagine original vegetable oil and then typical flour or did you go yeah. a, a different route? Uh, the, the, a tablespoon, cup, half cup, uh, what are you doing? Are you doing equal parts uh, flour to oil or um, how, how are you doing that? Uh, low heat, medium heat, wooden spoon. And then uh, the, I like to, to have a beer uh, meter where I'm like, okay, so uh, three, four beers stirring the roux. This this is, should be uh, proper color, uh, heat, you know, uh, things sort mm-hmm. of go. How, how did you how did you calculate that, uh, Caroline? So it was three quarters of a cup oil and flour. Okay, very so good. So fifty fifty. Oh, that you, and... you should be able to put. In cups, you should probably be able to fit, like, almost 12, 12 cups, am I right, uh, uh, liquid uh, in there? Yeah. I had, it was two quarts of some chicken stock, a nice big andouille sausage, three pounds of shrimp, and so many vegetables. Nice. So the shrimp, that uh, did you... Uh, uh, put the shrimp in typical uh cajun way where... last five minutes yeah you got it caroline Damn. caroline i did my research so if anyone wants to know how to make the perfect gumbo check out caroline at either craft parenting podcast or caroline's creative crafts i'm probably getting that wrong yeah where, no where that we... is right oh that's I need right to update nice. it, okay okay so what is joe drinking tonight is he doing is he doing the same as you or is he doing something different because as a craft beer podcast we need to ask about all the beers that all of the of drinking age people are enjoying when we talk you wouldn't them. be doing your due diligence you did <laughs> exactly <Right. laughs> so because joe is the greatest german dancer ever he is oh yeah he we, is we drinking that. the golden goat Ooh, from uh, sam adams nice. which is crisp and easy 
much like my husband. <laughs> ah, and Sunday mornings. Easy. Easy like, like Sunday, Sunday morning. morning. So we've had beers, so we apologize. And, well, I don't want to say in advance, but in the middle of this conversation. Yeah, time. But, but I yeah, understand. We, we have 20 minutes before, less than 20 minutes before producer Kenny kicks us out. The last thing that I want mm-hmm. to ask you is, we are both you, I, well, I guess not both. You, I, and Joe are all signed up for the Bachfest 5K coming up in just a few short weeks. That, that is, is correct. going to be an amazing time. I will probably be with Team Red, White, and Blue at the beginning, kind of holding one of the flags during the national anthem. But then I mm-hmm. plan on hanging out with you guys during the entire 5K because that's what podcasters we're slow do. We hang out. And we're awesome. We get the most For out sure. of our registration fee. We are not slow. Oh, we surely do. We get the most out of our registration fees. And the next time that there is a wrestling outage, outage, wrestling, wrestling outing for all the podcasters, we need to try to make sure that you and Joe can come along because it is a hell of a good time. We so would are love you guys that. In? That would be lots of fun. Absolutely. Yeah, good. Absolutely. We will. We will certainly let you know when everyone else is planning on going. Hopefully, Chris and Josh said that next time they're planning on less you know having giving us more than just three hours notice it was pure luck that my josh and i were able to go but we want to yeah i can't get a sitter in that time right right we want to get all the podcasters together if not for wrestling for some other event like marco wants to do get everyone together and just drink wine because we always drink beer and let's experience wine we've got a uh, a couple of uh show uh, goals. things, goals, show goals and getting together and drink wine is one of them. Uh, one of them, uh, doing a podcast Palooza at one place is one of them. Having a all women truth beer pod is one of them, mm-hmm. which we'd hope as it should be, which yes. we'd hope you would be part of, yeah. uh, when that, when that, uh, episode, you know, comes together. Uh, honestly, I, I just I'm glad that you know you answered the phone had a few minutes to spend with us because it's been too long since we've been together and you know certainly enjoy you know the content you're putting out and uh, we appreciate that uh, we have fun making it well it's awesome it's amazing content even though we don't talk about it every single week it is always a very fun show to listen to so I hope that by us mentioning you whenever we are able to that it, it drives one or two more listeners a week to you guys if nothing yeah, else and 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 you and mm-hmm. joe are, are are fun people great people uh glad you're part of the cincinnati craft beer podcast uh group and family yeah family and you know we uh we want to get together and have some fun yeah, and with small children, our schedule fills up fast. Right. But we will drop the children off at the grandparents' house like some hot potatoes. Perfect. To come drinking with you guys. Awesome. So, so, drinking, so. so drinking with us and podcasting is more important than the kids. Is that uh, what I'm Based here? on being <laughs> snowed in with the kids for three days. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. So, do you, I, I have... I, I, got to wrap could, this up, Marco. Kenny's going to kick us out. I soon. know. I got I got to wrap this up. We got to wrap this up. <laughs> Caroline, you have no idea what my last week, my last week was like. And, it's been shitty to say the least. Uh, there was actual poop. Uh, and <laughs> oh. I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about that, just, uh, you know. That hey, sounds like a really crappy time. Yes. There was, there, oh, my God, Caroline. It, I love you so much. It's, it's not just like. Hey, I uh, woke up and got to do my thing. It's like, uh, you know, terrible. Uh, but anyways, Caroline, Joe, love you guys and all the best. Uh, we're going to uh, sign off and uh, tell you we'll hit you up soon. Yeah. And Anytime you, know, you want sw- to wanna drive north on a Tuesday and swing by BC's, you know where to find us. You yeah, are welcome you're, anytime. I, I think I can arrange that sometime soon. All right. I'll yeah, send it, Joe your way. Nice. It, open invitation, and then, of course, we will give you a direct invitation when we have something specific. Like so, the wine or uh, the all-women episode. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, great to hear from you. 
take care uh, take care of those babies. And, Tell Joe uh, we say hi. I don't know where he is in yeah, the household, and, but let him know we say Mar- hello. Marco and Julia say hi. Oh, hey, guys. Hi, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> All right, They've y'all. They've beers. Uh, Several. Yes, yeah. yes. Joe, yes. what are you drinking? We need to know before we before we end the call. You what are you drinking at night? Oh, I had two beers tonight so Ooh. far. Catch Caroline up. already said you. You guys are. She already said I had the Golden Goat by mm-hmm. Sam Adams. Yeah. And then I also had the West Side Peanut Butter Milk Stout. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. I have All not right. yet been there to get that. Hopefully, they still have some. Whenever I, it's so close yet so far away. So hopefully they still have some when uh, when I'm able to make it there. So it was awesome to to talk to you for a few seconds, Joe. And I mean, maybe leave the kids home with Caroline next time, and you swing up here to BC's. <laughs> we would love to have you on the show. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Take care, buddy. Take care, guys. We'll Take talk to you all. later. All right, love you. Bye. All right. <laughs> all right, that was ridiculously that? fun. Hell yeah. How about that? I mean, we connected with uh, some of our friends Absolutely, via, yeah. you know, our uh, high tech equipment. Yes. And then yes. a couple of different. Uh, some good conversations. One avenues, more. You know? serious i guess with the gnome and then one just friends talking with friends when talking with caroline and joe so caroline this, this was a fun point five, a fun bonus episode kenny's gonna kick us out in about 10 or 15 minutes yeah so i am going to start playing the outro music but thank you guys so very much for downloading this episode for contributing to yet another episode to for us to mark off on our goal of continuing to grow continuing to put out content and we will see you guys next week bye bye